Welcome back to another video today, my people. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. Uh, currently in the process of trying to find my uh, uh, charger for my actual laptop so I can, you know, do some editing to a couple of videos that I have not edited. Uh, hopefully I can get that done and figure out a solution for that problem here in the next coming days. Uh, but, you know, I was thinking about something, uh, and it occurred to me, well, it, it's been occurred to me, um, that the body, the human body, the natural beings of the land are a resemblance, uh, of the astral plane, the astral body, the higher self stars because uh, when you are you know twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are like a diamond or something and the sky lights it up something I, I forget the wording but as a star it was it was shown as a five-pointed star okay the five points are the head uh, arm arm leg leg five okay um, and you know everyone has a soul every being has a soul and the soul is nothing but your light the light that you give off um, and essentially uh, we are freely traveling uh, beings we, we travel every day as a being uh, I'm not sure if we're on a set path, which I don't think we're on a set path. I think we're more wandering stars. And basically a wandering star is a planet. A planet is a wandering star, you know, it doesn't have a set plan, doesn't have a set path, uh, doesn't have to, you know, be in the constellation every day, every night. So, you know, it's a free wandering star, free range. Um, uh, and essentially... You yourself are a planet. That's why I said a while back, uh, you are in your own world. Your world is you. Everyone isn't in their own. Everyone is in their own world. Um. So you yourself are a planet. You yourself are a world. But the Earth is not a planet. The Earth is the home. Earth is not spinning or you know floating you know earth is stationary we we stay level all the time um you know earth is just home earth is just the mother okay and and right now we're we're you know similarly are grounded um and and ba basically there seems to be a disconnect you know with one's eye versus what one has been told uh, you know uh, somehow the people were taught to go against your own eye and to listen to someone else or to listen to a book movie periodical or some other being out there but you yourself have to you know use your own eye you know that that's that's the only one you can truly depend on because that is you. But then again, everyone is in their own world. But uh, that's all. That's all I wanted to bring out today. You know, just the mere fact that you yourself are a planet, and you know, Earth is not a planet because Earth is not a traveling star. Okay. Um, you know, Earth is stationary all the time. We're always level. You know. Uh, it's, it's just sim simple, you know, simple facts. Um, and 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 another thing I wanna I wanna bring up is a kind of off subject, the moon. Okay, I remember vividly, and back in the sixth grade in science class, the teacher said the sun gives light to the moon, and that's how the moon shines at night time. I go outside in PE about an hour and a half later, two hours later, 
and I look up in the sky, I see the sun on one side, the moon on the other side, both have their own different light, their different hue of light, their different color of light, temperature of light. Um, and like, it just occurs to me like, uh, either these people don't even look up in the sky, don't even take time to look into the details uh, it's just a disconnect with the nature, disconnect with the cosmos, cosmos um, the stars, the astrology. And basically, what occurred to me back then, you know, that was 10, 11, 12, I don't know how many years ago that was, uh, that the moon is not a solid object. The moon is seems to be at times opaque seems to be like a not want to say I forget I, I'm struggling to find the correct wording but basically it seems to be like if you were in an aircraft you could fly through the moon you know if, if the aircraft had the potential to withhold the energies that the moon uh, is holding, uh, but I'll go to into that uh, into that thinking of that topic that I have about what the moon, the stars, and suns really are, uh, because I do not believe they are solid objects. Matter of fact, I know they're not solid objects. Uh, but thanks for watching. As always, keep marching in. Be sure to keep your eye looking around you, checking out your surroundings every day, all day, any day. Have a good day.